Hi, this is Trevor with How to Sell My Utah House. You know, more and more, I keep coming into scenarios where people need to move and they wanna go look at houses out of state, but they're not quite sure how long it's going to take or what the process is going to look, at, look like. So with this house that we're standing in today, we're in West Valley, I actually put this house under contract almost four months ago, okay? Now, four months ago, I met with the seller. They told me they wanted to move to Oregon, but they didn't know anything else. So what we did is we made an agreement on the price, okay? If we can agree on the price, I really don't care how quickly we close as long as I know what I can buy the house for. Okay, so as we look around at this house, you'll notice it's really not in as bad a shape as it looks. It needs some carpet, it needs some paint, but we checked out the roof, the furnace, the windows, things like that, and it's mostly a really solid property. The bigger problem for this seller was that they wanted to be able to travel to Oregon at their leisure, find a house that worked for them, and, and move when it fit their schedule. So what we did is we made that agreement back in October, and then we just kind of sat around and waited, okay? We got to early December and they called me and they said, Trevor, we found a house that we're going to buy. So from that day, we picked a settlement deadline, we decided when they would have money in their account, and then even to make it easier for them, we actually purchased this house before the end of December and they were able to stay here and pay rent for one month before they moved out at the end of January. Okay, now here we are in February, we're working on the house, we're gonna clean it up and this will either be a wonderful rental property for someone or it'll be a new home for a new family. Now we always find weird things in every house so I, I like to point them out. Back in the 50s and 60s, these postmodern houses, they built these planters in the living room. You know, this has actually been cut down. Originally, this would have been about this high and maybe had some posts up into the ceiling, okay? And I know that uh, my wife would never let me have a picture of, uh, I'm not sure if that's Merlin. I think that's Merlin in the Knights of the Round Table, right? But, you know, these fun things that we get to find in every house that we buy. This is Trevor with How to Sell My Utah House.